Hello, this is 6.6 percent composition of a compound. Today we are going to learn how to calculate how much in percentage grams you have of each element in a molar mass of a given compound. So we are on 6.6 .6 over here and here is the equation that you will use to do the calculation. So the percent composition of an element by mass in a compound's chemical formula is uh, equal to the molar mass, uh, the mass of the element in one mole of the compound divided by the molar mass of the compound times 100. I will explain it to you in a problem. So first step, you calculate the molar mass of the compound. Then you calculate the mass of the moles of each element in the compound's formula. And then you plug in the values to this equation. It's just a percentage equation, nothing fancy. And then you multiply it by 100 and you calculate it. That's it. And here's an example. It says calculate the percent composition of iron and oxygen in Fe2O3. This is iron oxide. So you are first going to find the molar mass and here is what you need. So iron is 55.93 and oxygen is 16 grams per mole. So you have two moles of iron just like we did in the mass to moles conversions. This is um, iron mass times 2 and oxygen mass times 3 and then you substitute these values and you get this. So this is step 2 you will calculate the total mass of all the moles of iron and oxygen in the molar mass of the compound and then you add them together this will be your molar mass so you're going to divide this number fe 111.86 by 159.86 for the percent mass of fe and 48 divided by 159.86 for the percent mass of oxygen and here is that calculation for Fe and here is that calculation for oxygen and remember since this is a percentage um, both of them make up 100% so if it's only two things you can subtract from 100 this number to get this value and all the percentages should add up to 100 so you can check your math that way. Let's look at another problem. Calculate the percent composition of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in CH3, C3H6O. It's an organic compound. And then draw a pie chart showing the percent composition. You can um, do the approximate percent composition in the pie chart. So first you find the molar mass like this. So you have carbon times 3, ox hydrogen times 6, and oxygen times 1. Carbon is 12 moles and hydrogen is 1 and oxygen is 16. So these are the masses of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in this compound, the molar mass. And then that's the total. So you're going to divide these numbers by the total times it by 100. So here's the percent composition for carbon, hydrogen and oxygen then your numbers will be that and then you draw um, also remember oxygen you can add these two and subtract the uh, product by 100 um, and then you should get that value and here is your pie chart one last problem which of the following compounds contain approximately 18 percent hydrogen by mass so you have uh, four compounds each containing hydrogen. So how would you do this? You have to first calculate the molar masses of each one and the gram, um, the gram mass of each of the hydrogens in each of them and figure out the percent composition. So here's the molar mass calculation for each one. This is uh, carbon times 2 is 24. 12 times 2, this is 1 times uh, 2 plus 16, and this one is a 4 because 1 times 4 is 4, 
this is uh, 14 and 3 times 1 this is 12 times 5 is 60 and this is 1 times 11 is 11 so when you add them up you get these values that is the molar mass and then you divide the molar mass by hydrogen I've shown it in brown and then you should get these values so which one is close to 18 percent it's this guy ammonia so it's ammonia who has 18% um, hydrogen by mass and that's it so to review you have to first calculate the molar mass and then calculate the mass of moles of each element in the formula and express it as a percentage like this that's it from me you can do the exit ticket now